taking it for the brand new world. Yeah. We gotta take you to the brand new world. To the brand new world. We gotta wake you for the brand new world. Get your hands up, baby. We gotta take you to the brand new world. No hesitating time to get going Hold on, hold on yeah. It's the time to fight for liberty Prevent the swallowing of honesty and the truth The answer that we seek is in the conflict Oh yeah This marvelous dream is buried Deep in the gears of hands up Shout it, shout it louder Let's do it, do it, start it Never give up, it's in the limitations We're the spirit Welcome back, Cards, to the first broadcast of a whole new year. We hope you had a great start to your second semester so far. I know I have. That's good, White. That's good. Let's kick things over to one of our special segments that we have ready. Yep, that's right. Isn't it basketball? Yeah, it is. What's in the bag? Sonic double cheeseburger. I'll play you for it. Okay, sure. Rim up in. Number one, first flow. Basketball is my favorite sport. I like the way the dribble up and down the court, just like I'm the king on the microphone. So it's Dr. J and Mr. Malone. I like small balls, I like the two to the My favorite play is the avenue. I like the diamond, diamond. I like the give me the balls. It's basketball for Mr. Curtis. Hey. Be sure to come support your boys' basketball team tonight when they face off against the wide field. And don't forget to also support your girls' basketball team. And if you can't make it out to tonight's game, then you can always check out the EHS Athletic Channel where we will be broadcasting it. Anyways, basketball isn't the only sport going on right now. Let's transition that layup to a takedown. With this new semester, is always a new year. Let's talk about these new year resolutions around the school. Yep, let's go do that. What is your new year's resolution? 
Well, you know, New Year's resolutions are one of those things that about three days into it, you don't do it. But my New Year's resolution is to walk my dog every day. What is your New Year's resolution? To not sprain my ankle again. What is your New Year's resolution? Um, to be happier. So I didn't make any formal New Year's resolution, but I really should try to work on not procrastinating. My New Year's resolution is to ensure that every kid fails my class. My New Year's resolution, to be honest, I really <laughs> didn't make one. Um, I was just kind of following up with what I did last year, and that is just to make sure I have time for myself and my family and all the stress that goes along with teaching during COVID better at doing the stuff I love and focus more on school and just friends and family in general. What is your New Year's resolution? To get more sleep. I don't know, to be better, a better person and all, so yeah. My New Year's resolution is that people will come to Beauty and the Beast. Uh, to not fail math. My New Year's resolution is to eat healthier. Um, I'm going to get swole, I'm going to get some bread, and I'm going to get the heck out of here. And that about wraps it up for today's broadcast cards. Remember to check in every single homeroom to watch a new broadcast. And as always, take, take it easy. Good morning, Elizabeth High School, specifically juniors. This announcement is for you. So if you don't know me, I am Mrs. Zander. I'm one of the math teachers here. I'm also the test coordinator. And as part of that, I get to inform you of when things are going on with the state level testing that we do here. So hopefully you received this flyer from me earlier this week, and this is about adding the essay to your SAT test. If you did not receive the email, first, check your emails. But second, if you didn't receive it or if you would like a hard copy, please come by my classroom and I can get you one. Also, if you would like it in Spanish, I can also get that for you. So this flyer gives you information on one, how to add the essay, to your registration and to some important pieces about why you should even consider doing the essay. So this is optional. You don't have to do the essay, but I always encourage students to consider taking it. And it's always a good idea to take it because you never know when it might be needed. A college might need it, especially if you change your plans between after the test date and by the time you graduate, a scholarship might need it. And this falls into that category that I often tell my kids, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Because this is the only time you can actually take the essay. The weekend SAT times does not offer it anymore. And this is the only time in Colorado that we will be offering the essay to students. So you do have until the deadline of February 14th to add it. You can change your mind. So let's say you do figure out what scholarships you have, what colleges you're going to, and they don't require it. So if you do add it, you can subtract it later or put it back on, you know, you can bounce around, but the hard deadline, you've got to be decided on your decision is February 14th. Okay, so if you are having any issues, if you're having any questions or any problems getting registered, please come by and see me. And if you do, please bring your Chromebook. It works a lot better to register on your Chromebook than on your phone. And I am in room 112, and I would be more than happy to help you. You guys all have a good day. Come along, catch a half a lump. Sit with me on a muddy clump. We'll sing a song of days gone by. Run along now, don't be glum. Get you gone now, have some fun. Don't be long for the end is now. Don't let moments pass along and waste before